So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five useful apps for students. So if you're new here, just give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share to anyone you think that's going to be helpful to them. And without further ado, let's just dive into the video. So the first app I want to share with you is Socratic. So many people do have this app on their phones, but they probably don't know how to use it or they don't know how this app works. And this app is one of the applications I've liked so far ever since I downloaded the application. So you are even going to get a chance to see some courses which are actually going to be basic courses we do study at school. So let's say we have biology, chemistry, physics, earth science, environmental science, and then down here we have algebra and then so on. This is math and then we have fiction and non-fiction and all and we have US history and then world history. So let's say we want to just check out biology right here. You tap on biology and it's going to give you the course outline and whatever basic thing you need to know about biology. In case I tap on this section right here, you're going to see how this app works and then it's going to show you everything in bits and even back it with a YouTube video for you to just understand everything perfectly. So Socratic is an application I think everyone should just get on their phones. And there's one key thing I like about this application, which is pretty much very cool. And it has the ability for you to scan anything you feel like you want being it math, being it history, um, geography, whatever, provided the results is in existence, this app is actually going to help you and then get you the results. And if it's math, it back it up with the steps in which the math is being solved so that you're going to be able to present your work very, very clean. So I have some cool questions. So Critic is actually going to be able to solve for us. So what you're going to do is when you have your questions being it's written or printed, you can just scan it and then you're going to get your results. So you're going to put the scanner on the question like this and then you make sure it falls in between the four corners right here you have on the screen the four yellow corners you have on the screen you make sure the question falls in between and then you tap on this short sign right here and then when you tap on it you're gonna get your photo being captured and then after it's being captured you need to adjust it to make sure that it covers the question you are trying to just scan right here and when you're done you tap on go right here and it's actually going to do the magic for you to solve your question for you so you can see right here we have 50 times 4 that is 200 plus 5 that is 205 minus 205 that is 0 so you can see our answer right here which is 0 and you can move forward to just tap on this side to just check out how the question is being solved and that is basically very cool you tap on solve right here and it's going to show you the steps it took for them to just get the results right here so in case it's a very difficult question you're actually going to get the steps whatever you need to do in case maybe your question asks you to just show working this app is actually going to help you out with that so let's try the next question too which is the scientific name for termites that is what we are going to check out we tap on this side like this and then we are just gonna scroll down like this and then we tap on go and we are going to see if Socrates is actually going to help us get this which is isoptera and that is basically very cool so you can see right here and then you can just scroll down to read more about it in case maybe the work you have is actually going to demand a lot of things you can just get some articles that backs whatever results you're actually seeking or you want and that is basically very cool so the next one too we are going to look at is the newton's third law of motion and then we are just going to scan it right here and then we can adjust it and then we see if Socrates is actually going to help us get this results and then we check out the magic and we are going to see Newton's third law of motion that is here action and reaction are opposite and equal and it's even backed up with a YouTube video so this is what you need to know about Socratic and in case maybe you don't have it on your phone you can just check it out and let's check out the next application so the next tab on the list is also a scanner application which is called the photo map and then it actually helps you to scan mathematic questions and then you're going to be able to just get the results so you open the app like this and then you're going to just put the scanner on the question like this and then you tap on the red button right here to just take a shot of the question and then in case maybe wherever you are solving the question is very dim you can tap on this section right here and so you're going to put lights on the question and then you tap on this section right here and you're going to be able to just scan the question and you're going to see your results right here which is zero you can just tap on this section show solving steps and then you're going to see the steps in which the question was solved and then in case maybe you want to know more to use tap on this section to know the explanation and then you can play the explanation it's actually going to play with a voice or something and that is basically very cool so this app is actually one of the apps to you can use in solving mathematics in case you have a difficult math question this app is also going to help you in case you don't have so critic you can use photomath and that is basically very cool let's check out the next application 
So the next app on the list I have right here is Carl ES. So Carl ES is one of the coolest applications. And I wish this application was in existence when I was in my high school days and it would have been very, very cool. Cause this one right here is a scientific calculator that is pretty, pretty awesome. And lately, you know, every student do have a cell phone and you can just get this application on your device and then you can even just forget about getting a scientific calculator so it has all the things scientific calculator do have this application do have it and then you can just use it right away like the way you use your scientific calculators and that is basically very cool so if you check out right here you can see that the way i'm operating this application looks like a scientific calculator and when you tap on any part of the app you're gonna get whatever you feel like you want to get whatever results you're gonna get it just has in us right here for the developer to just end some incentives because they did a very good job trying to get this app for us so Carl es is the name of the application and in case maybe you want to download it just go to your play store and then download it and then get your scientific calculator we have a lot of modes for you right here so you can just check out and then play around with the application and you're going to be able to just Get your math questions or your scientific math questions or calculus or whatever question you feel like you have solved with ease without having a calculator just your smartphone and that is basically very cool let's check out the next app with the next app right here too a lot of people are actually gonna be like why do i need to get this application unless i tell them the secret or the super cool thing about this application so this is zen flip clock and that is pretty much very cool with this clock right here when you swipe like this it's actually gonna turn into a path where you're gonna get a stopwatch so with this stopwatch right here you can actually place it on your desk whilst you are studying and then maybe you time yourself for you to just know whatever you are doing and someone is going to ask why would i put the timer there because the screen of the phone is actually going to go off and with this app it's never going to go off immediately you turn it to the timer the screen is just going to stay on like this so you are done with whatever you are doing or you just leave the app and then go to your home page before your phone can go to sleep but without that and then you have this app opened your phone is just going to stay like this for you to know your timer and that is basically very well so by default this app actually has 25 minutes for your stopwatch but in case maybe you want to just get your app getting more than 25 minutes you need to upgrade to the premium version which will actually show you your battery and also give you a screen band protection and a lot of cool things you can get a font and then flip sound and then you can just adjust your focus duration that is the 25 minutes you can adjust it and then you can even get yourself some break whilst you're using the application and that is basically very cool so that is the cool thing you need to know about this app and so i know you can time yourself 25 minutes and when the time elapses and then you have not yet upgraded to the premium version to get infinity time you can just tap on the section right here and then it's going to start from 25 minutes again and that is basically very cool so check out zen flip clock and you're gonna like it so let's check out the next app so the next app on the list is wikihow so with wikihow you are entitled to just search anything you feel like you want to search so that it gives you the results and that is basically very cool so let's say you want to just know how to draw a fish and it's an assignment you've been given a school you type in this and then you search for it and then you're going to be able to just get a lot of results right here you can look through to just pick on any of them you feel maybe it's you to you or which of them you feel maybe you are going to be able to draw very very easily and then you are good it's actually going to show you some videos that is actually going to guide you for you to just draw whatever you feel like you want to draw very very easily this is pretty much very cool but in case maybe you want to just move forward to just go to some categories in order to just look through and then also do some researches too you can just go to the category section and then you can tap on any of them you feel like you want to tap let's say we go to health and then we are going to scroll down and then we tap on first aid this can actually guide you to just know more about how to give some first aid in case maybe there is a situation or maybe you are even supposed to solve some questions that is related to first aid you can just look through these ones right here and then pick on any of them you can just go forward to just tap on any of the categories let's say men health and then you scroll down to check through and then any of them can actually solve a question for you or maybe enlighten you on whatever you want to know so wikihow is one of the applications i think everyone should just get on their phones in case maybe you've not yet downloaded it on your phone then you need to just get it right away and that is basically very cool so in case maybe you missed my january apps too you can check out this video right here and it's actually going to help you know more apps and that's going to help you use your device too and without further ado i'm just going to catch you in the next video peace